Since its debut a year and a half ago, the Nintendo Switch has easily become one of the most well-rounded consoles in regards to sheer variety of RPGs. You could say that there has been something for just about any RPG enthusiast, save for one facet, the loot-driven, dungeon-crawling action RPG. While July's Titan Quest is very similar to a Diablo game, it's not that great of a port. However, after spending hours upon hours in the world of Sanctuary, it is clear that the Switch version of Diablo 3 proves to be a shining example of a console port done right. Diablo 3 Eternal Collection releases on the Nintendo Switch on November 2nd, 2018 and features the Reaper of Souls expansion and the Rise of the Necromancer pack along with some Switch exclusive cosmetic perks. Diablo 3 pits you in the world of Sanctuary, the dark world that is the focal point of the Diablo series. You play as a Nephilim, the progeny of angels and demons that almost always finds a way to get caught up in the eternal conflict between its forefathers. But the actual line between good and evil isn't always cut and dry, as history of both the mortal and otherworldly realms has shown that, time and time again, neither side has the Nephilim's best interest at heart. Diablo 3 has the Nephilim taken to the battlefield to combat new threats and recurring baddies alongside new and familiar companions from the previous entries. All of the Diablo games are rich in lore, so there will be no spoilers here. While the story for Diablo 3 has not been as well received as earlier games in the series, it is still a good experience. And if you don't really care about the story, you can actually ignore it entirely on the Switch version by diving right into adventure mode instead of the story-driven campaign mode. The main objective in Diablo 3 is to basically kill all the things. A new game has you selecting from one of seven unique classes, a barbarian, crusader, demon hunter, monk, necromancer, witch doctor, and wizard. Slaying heaps of demons with your hero will help you level up, which increases your character's attributes while occasionally unlocking skills in the process. You can only commit a handful of skills at a time, but you are free to change them on the fly in most scenarios. Each active skill comes with five runes that can further empower the ability, such as the Barbarian's Whirlwind ability spawning small tornadoes in its wake. It's not uncommon for you to swap these in and out as a lot of new skills, runes, and equipment become available to you. The skill system as a whole in Diablo 3 has experienced a lukewarm reception over the years because it's very much streamlined in comparison to the systems found in Diablo 2 and Path of Exile. If you're the kind of player that wants to get lost in a multi-branch and skill system, you might be a little disappointed in what's available here. Genuine arguments can be made for both sides of the fence, but there's something quite satisfying about the system found in Diablo 3 despite fewer overall choices compared to other games. Gear in Diablo 3 comes in five qualities, common, magic, rare, set, and legendary, with the last two being the most sought after equipment in the game. Both set and legendary gear typically provide unique and powerful bonuses to your character, with even a single piece having the potential to drastically change the way your character plays. If the RNG gods are being cruel to you, or you're just looking to round out a gear set, you can always look to your artisans for help. You can create new gear at the blacksmith, combine gems and infuse them in socketed equipment at the jeweler, and can change the magical properties of equipment via the mystic. Then there's Kanai's Cube, which serves as a way to manipulate various items and equipment akin to the Haragic Cube system in Diablo 2. Using it allows you to extract powers from legendary items to equip as passives, the ability to reforge and augment certain gear, turn rare items into legendaries, and more. It is an essential endgame tool that you will become intimately familiar with before you know it. Diablo 3 is very much about repeating the same forms of content ad nauseum in hopes of greater rewards. The bulk of it can be summarized into two categories. Campaign mode, which carries you through the five story driven acts. And adventure mode, which has you either completing bounties or diving into rifts. At the end of the day, you can always just walk around aimlessly and explore. Meaningful rewards are possible regardless of what path you take, with some just being more optimal than others. Diablo 3 runs almost flawlessly on the Nintendo Switch in both 960p docked and 720p handheld mode. Performance hovers at 60fps pretty consistently, with the occasional minor dip whenever the screen is filled to the brim with enemies and lots of particle effects are going off. 
These dips are not significant enough to deter you from the demon slaying task at hand, however. Loading times are essentially a non-issue outside of the initial game load, but even then they aren't really that long. Diablo 3 Eternal Collection is an absolute blast on the Switch. It is the same loot crazed, addicting goodness that many have already experienced on other consoles. While there is little reason to double dip unless you specifically want to take advantage of the on the go aspect provided by the Switch, it is an absolute buy if it is your first time. Being able to dive into the world of Sanctuary and wreak havoc anytime is pretty freaking great.